Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of the Mission Matters Entertainment Podcast, your source for all things entertainment. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres. Keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today I have Pavlina Asta on the line, and she's executive director and producer of National Podcast over at Salem Media Group, and she's host of If God Had a Podcast. Pavlina, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me on, Adam. How are you doing? Oh, I'm fantastic, and I'm excited to get into your podcast today, If God Had a Podcast. I'm like, my title of my podcast is not quite that unique. I'm, I'm excited to listen <laughs> to it. Um, but before we do that, let's get a little bit into what you're doing over at Salem Media Group. So tell us a little bit more about the company, please. Yeah, for sure. So um, Salem Media Group is, you know, they have a political, you know, they're just a traditional radio um, network, but they have a political side and a, a religious side. I work on the political side on all of our national shows. And um, they're, they're actually the reason I moved up to New York City. So I was barely 18 and I got an internship on one of the local shows um, and, you know, kind of worked my way up as producer. And then when I was 19, I started a department within the company for digital media, podcasting, live streaming, all that stuff for the national host. Um, and that's, you know, where I get my, my current title. I've been doing I've been working on that for the past couple of years and and yeah it's been great like they it's a great um it's a great place to work I love it so um pr- pretty impressive first of all starting a podcast division all these things at 19 it's kind of that's amazing so you're you're definitely a Thank healthy you. um pioneer and, and that's one of the reasons I'm excited to have you on the show is I, I love promoting other podcasters and podcasts and uh let's just get right into it so if God had a podcast what inspired you to do this podcast yeah, so I started my radio show when I was 11. Um, 11 to 18 is how long I had, you know, my radio show, and it was syndicated on iHeartRadio and everything. And when I started, when I moved up here and I was working at Salem, and um, I eventually, you know, went to college, graduated a year early, but I stopped doing my radio show because it was just so hard to, you know, work full-time and go to school full-time. And, um, and that was just a big part of my life that I missed, you know, just being on air and doing all that stuff. So that's when I started the podcast was in July of 2019. So still, still pretty new. You know, um, it's still a pretty a pretty new podcast. But uh, yeah, I just I just missed you know being on air and um, interviewing really fascinating newsmakers or you know thought provoking people. I my podcast mostly focuses on um, people that are like entrepreneurial. They're motivators. Like it's a very it's a very inspiring kind of podcast or informational so and i i think that stuff is all very interesting um and so do my listeners so it's it's a great time tell me a little bit more about the format so like what's the normal length of show what, like, give me a little bit more about the format for sure so it's about 20 to 30 minutes depending uh, i like to go pretty in depth um with either you know stories that they're talking about or like the research that they've been covering um but yeah it's around 20 to 30 minutes and in terms of, um, obviously, you've been on air for a long time, but just to give us kind of a flavor of the content, this is this is a loaded question, so I apologize in advance because it's like <laughs> making you change between all, uh, choose between all your babies and all the different stories. So, what was one of your favorite episodes or favorite stories that you have from the podcast? Oh my gosh! Okay. Loaded that question. Loaded I know question. that's terrible, and I hope nobody ever asks me that question when I'm being interviewed because <laughs> I'll be in trouble. But but that's I did it hilarious. to you, so you go. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. So and you know people always ask me that with my my interviews growing up because I I interview mm-hmm. celebrities and I always mm-hmm. loved you know um, trying to figure out which one I I liked the most or you know it was always <laughs> the one that I just did. I was like that was my favorite. You know whatever. But with the podcast. Um, Oh my gosh, probably I really liked my first interview. Like that was a lot of fun. It was Heather Monahan who she actually has her own podcast. She's fantastic. But I talked to her about her book, um, Confidence Creator, I believe is the title of it. Yeah, and um it's a great book and it's really like a guide to building confidence. And I just thought that was a great way to start off the podcast and I and I loved that one. Um, I interview a lot of people that, because I am obsessed with TED Talks, <laughs> I listen to them mm-hmm. all the time when I'm getting ready in the morning and, and, you know, different stuff like that. So I love interviewing really interesting uh, TED Talk speakers. So um, 
And actually, I've kind of doubled up the, the work that I've done with my podcast has also been researched for the book that I just finished um, and is in editing right now. But uh, so I've been able to, you know, kind of cross the two. And and yeah, but I think, gosh, there's just so many um, interesting topics. I talked to a couple of different guests about the imposter syndrome and I just thought that was fascinating. Like, and they're like, they're just different, you know, researchers, doctors that, you know, do all of this work on studying patients with, you know, the imposter syndrome and how to help them get through it. And they write books and stuff. And it's just, it's just amazing. So you'll have to check out the podcast to, you know, find your favorite episode. I love it. It's all great stuff. Yeah. Um, what was one of the, do you have any, what was one of the funnier moments on your podcast? Like, was there anything that just sticks out where you're like, oh, my gosh, I can't believe that happened? I'm just curious. There may not be, but sometimes there's some weird things that happen on the podcast. Yeah, nothing really crazy has happened. I don't know. I think it's always happening so quick. Like, I live, you know, here yeah. in New York City, and um, I feel like I'm just in and out of the studio so fast. Like, I try to, like, we usually become friends because like, we, uh, we have, like, conversations before and after, mm-hmm. and... Um, or That's we'll awesome. like we'll, we'll I usually like to FaceTime them or uh, Skype before the interview so we can like get you know the lay of the land and then we'll talk about stuff. But there's never really been anything that's like crazy or, or funny that's happened. I don't know. What um <laughs> what uh like there's a lot of people listening right now that are considering or have wanted to launch a podcast or do something like that. What are some of the like those intangible like those benefits to where you're like man it, you should 100% do your podcast because I. I preach to people all day long, and I'm like, you should be definitely doing a podcast. Like, are you kidding me? Why wouldn't yeah. you like, share this message and all this? It's a phone call. Come on. Like, like just do it. Um, what would be some of those intangibles and those that those words of wisdom you would give to somebody that's listening right now that's been wanting to do a podcast, but they're still sitting on the fence? Well, see, the beautiful thing about podcasting is everyone gets a voice. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. millennials, I talk a lot about millennials and Gen Z because I like to study the psychology behind them because they're just such a fascinating fascinating generation. And we, first of all, I'm a Gen Z, but millennials, they're the biggest um, generation right now. So they're affecting all these different things. But one thing they they love to do is they love to um, make a change. They like to have an impact. And you can have an impact by having a podcast because you can you have this ability to put it out into the world you can promote it do social media like everyone has this accessibility whereas you know in radio it's not you know there it's just there's too many roadblocks you can't it's hard (laughs) yeah it's expensive it's hard yeah yeah and everyone has a story everyone has you know experiences that they've learned from and just like Things like that that you can share with people and you can really make a difference and you can help them in different ways or, you know, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't think it's a, it's not hard to start a podcast. It's pretty easy. You can just get a microphone. You could do it in your apartment. You know what I mean? Like, it's I recorded not a my hard first, do. you don't even need that. You don't even need that. I recorded my first 300 episodes on my iPhone with, with, uh, That's with hilarious. regular, not, not even iPod, yeah, not even like iPad, like what, or whatever, like, Pod, earbuds, nothing like the literal like white cord <laughs> totally, like, hanging down on my on my three hundred episodes. I, I built an audience before I even thought of a mic, and I had a mic already from something else laying in the background, and I was too lazy to hang it up or to, to hook it up. I was like, ah, oh, let's just see. I don't know about this podcasting thing, <laughs> and I do it full yeah, time, right? Like, two thousand episodes so later. <laughs> it's so easy to edit. You don't need any kind of equipment. You know what I mean? Like, just get it up there. And like, that's what I yeah, tell people. it's just so much fun. And it's so fun. Like, don't you love doing this? Like, it's the best. Oh, my gosh. Awesome. Are you kidding me? The stories. One of my favorite ones is how to pronounce your name. Do you want to tell everyone or no? <laughs> like, <laughs> I've been saying that my whole life. I so know. Funny. So say it for me. Tell the audience how you can say it, please. <laughs> yes. Okay. So everyone's like, how do you say your name? And I'm like, it's Pavlina Asta. Asta like pasta. I can't. And everyone says Osta. And I'm just like, it's yes. not Osta. It's Asta. <laughs> like, Asta like pasta. Asta like pasta, that, all right? <laughs> yes. Every time I say that, no one ever forgets. Like, you can't you can't mess it up after that. I don't know what I love it is, it. but it's good. I just came up with I was actually getting – I remember when I first said it. I was – um I think I was, like, 14, and I was at the Hot 97 radio station, and they were interviewing me on one of the shows, and – the I think it was Laura. I don't remember who the host was, or you know, because there were three of them, and she like couldn't pronounce my last name, and I was like Asta, like 
pasta and I was like trying to like think of something that like rhymed with it and I was like pasta like that's perfect <laughs> and it became a whole thing on the show and I was like uh, this is great so I've just been saying it for the past like six years <laughs> you know what I mean it's it's oh my gosh, that's awesome! <laughs> yeah, well, um, well, Pavlina, it's been great having you on the show. If somebody, if somebody's listening to this and they want to follow up and they want to catch your podcast, then what's the best way for them to connect with you and, and your other things you're doing? Most definitely. So you can um, follow me on all the social sites. Everything is at Pavlina Osta O S T A, and um, and yeah, my you can you know the links are always on there. I'm always posting about it. Um, my podcast is everywhere. iTunes. Spotify, the works. Um, it's called If God Had a Podcast. And, you know, if you follow me on the social sites, you'll also not only get updates on, you know, podcast, like podcast episodes that are coming out, um, but a bunch of other exciting things that I'm doing. I have a book coming out probably like May, June. So keep your ear out for that because that's going to be, I'm very excited about that coming out. Um, oh, and that's yeah, exciting. so that's you'll, about we'll it. Have to, we'll have to have you back on when that comes out so we can definitely talk more about that. Oh, the I would book. love um, that. That would be so be fun. I think your audience would like it. So, um, perfect. Um, and we will do that. Um, so thanks again, Pavlina, for coming on the show. It's been awesome. been, been fun. Uh, and to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. Hope you had a lot of fun listening because we had fun making this for you. If you did, don't forget, subscribe to the podcast. Uh, leave me a review. If you're watching this on our YouTube channel, uh, Mission Matters Entertainment, then definitely give that a subscribe. But also leave us some, uh, leave us some comments on the video. I'd love to keep the conversation going. Let's not let it end here. Let's move it over to the YouTube community. And, uh, Pavlina, thanks again for coming on the show.